Hello everyone, welcome back to Epicoise Classes. I'm Survi Gupta and in these videos we pick up one of the topics from the newspaper and read it directly from the newspaper. So not only reading it but uh, I try and bring out the author's perspective, emotions and everything behind the article and also I try and engage with you in a manner so that you also feel satisfied that yes you have completed uh, the newspaper or the article from the newspaper and you get to know what to pick up from the newspaper and what to leave and how to connect it with your theory so uh i think uh let's just quickly share the screen so that you get to know that what topic are we going to do today all right just hold on so uh today's topic is rupees sharp slide how much lower can it go so we are talking about depreciation today and depreciation appreciation difference between depreciation appreciation and devaluation revaluation all that uh you know all the things are something that i'm going to explain it to you today so before reading the article first of all we clarify some of the basic things so that uh going ahead you don't face any of the issues so here's the blank space i'll use that quickly imagine you are going on a foreign trip say to usa okay so if you are going to usa indian okay you are an indian going to USA. So you are basically going to travel maybe for a vacation. So you're importing tourist services from USA. So just to pay to the pay for the services, you will have to have dollars, right? But you have rupee, you need dollars. So, uh, you know, if you want to buy something in dollars, so how many dollars will you get with your one rupee? So how much worth is your one rupee for? Okay, that is what we need to know. So what if, what is the basically exchange price that when you will exchange rupee for dollar, at what rate will it get exchanged? That is something that we are going to understand today. Okay, so let's just quickly begin this and I'll can clear up some of the things and then we can proceed. This rate and the price of one currency in terms of other currency is known as exchange rate and that is also known as foreign exchange rate or we call it forex. Okay, so this is something like say for one, uh, so let's just clear that, you know, maybe your one dollar, hold on, where is my pen? Okay, maybe one dollar is equal to rupees 60. So just to get one dollar, you have to pay 60 rupees, right? This is exchange rate. Right. So that's that 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 is what exchange rate is. Now let's understand what is appreciation and depreciation. But before that, let's first understand fixed exchange rate and flexible exchange rate. So there's flexible exchange rate is something which depends on the market conditions of demand and supply. Say, for example, this is your amount of dollar or quantity of dollar that is going to be exchanged or traded in the market, supplied and demand both. Okay? And this is going to be, y-axis is going to be rupees in terms of dollar. Okay, so your demand and supply, if I may say so, that your demand is this and your supply is this, right, of uh, dollars. So your exchange rate becomes where your demand and supply intersects this thing. Okay, if you start demanding dollar more, say, for example, if you, uh, you know, every Indian starts going to USA and uh, they plan a vacation during vacation month. So demand for dollar increases when the demand will increase, the exchange rate will increase. So earlier one dollar just to buy one dollar, you had to pay 60 rupees. Now for one dollar, you may have to pay rupees 70 or rupees 80. So your rupees getting weaker and weaker and dollar is getting stronger because now to get one more dollar, you have to pay more more rupees right so that is known as depreciation of rupee the value of rupee is depreciating depreciation of rupee and dollar whereas on the other hand is going basically is appreciated so that is known as appreciation right so what is devaluation and revaluation so if there's a fixed exchange rate right fixed exchange rate this is basically happening uh, due to market forces of demand and supply in the fixed exchange rate, what happens is, this is your demand, this is your supply. Ideal exchange rate should be this, right? This is rupee and dollar, and this is your uh, amount, quantity of dollar, right? So, ideally, exchange rate should be this. But in fixed exchange rate, government fixes the exchange rate because government may want to encourage exports. How will exports be encouraged? If earlier you were exporting something to USA, you were getting 60 rupees in term or in, in return of one dollar. 
right? You you were getting sixty rupees. Now you're getting seventy rupees in exchange of one dollar. Okay, so if your if you are selling something in USA that is worth ten dollar. Earlier you were getting six hundred rupees. Now you'll get seven hundred rupees. So as an exporter, it is beneficial for you. So depreciation when depreciation happens in an economy, right? That the value of rupee is depreciating. That first the one dollar is equal to rupees sixty earlier. Now one dollar is equal to rupees seventy. That means rupee is getting depreciated. When rupee gets depreciated, so then exporters, Indian exporters, export more because it's beneficial. Whereas importers are discouraged. Why imports decrease? Because you are importing something to import something. You have to pay them. So earlier you were paying them 60 rupees. Now you're paying them 70 rupees for the same thing. So importers get discouraged. So maybe government has this policy of encouraging exports. Government want to encourage exports. So government, what happens? Government, what government does? Government fixes the exchange rate to E1. Whereas market forces say that exchange rate should be this. Market forces say exchange rate should be 60. But government fixes exchange rate at 70. Government devalues Indian rupee because in the fixed exchange rate, we call, so depreciation, weakening of Indian rupee is known as devaluation because government itself in the fixed exchange rate system is devaluing the rupee. Whereas when you revalue it, appreciate, appreciate the value of rupee increases. If here you, you set the exchange rate lower than 60, lower than what the demand forces of market and supply says, then that means you're revaluing. So revaluing and devaluing is done by the government under the fixed exchange regime, whereas depreciation and appreciation occurs due to market market forces of demand and supply. There's no role of, you know, government or any agency. That is the basic difference. All right. So that was important. That is why I picked up this article. This article in, in itself was not that important because rupee is anyway getting depreciated. But I wanted to explain the basics. That was the reason. Okay, let's just quickly finish off this article now because you know the basics. So, you know, that depreciation is happening. So when depreciation happens, that means, you know, that we are following two, three things. We are following flexible exchange rate system. Okay, this is one thing that you know. Then depreciation happening, which means exporters are encouraged and importers are discouraged. That's it. Okay, fine. Let's continue. The rupee breached. I'll change the color of the pen. I like more colorful screen somehow. So the rupee breached 84 mark to hit an all-time low against the dollar last week. Whatever week it is, let's just focus that this year the rupee has been weak against dollar staying at well over 82. So let's say that $1 was rupees 82. In, you were getting $1 in rupees 82. Now just to get that same dollar, you are paying 2 rupees more. That is 84 rupees. So your dollar is getting depreciated. Uh, sorry, rupee is getting depreciated and depreciated. Okay. So that is the graph that what happened. April 2022, rupee, just to get $1, you had to pay rupees 76. Now just to get $1, you have to pay rupees 84 See, 8 rupees se depreciate hua hai, hai? Yeah, now you're paying 8 rupees more just to get the same $1. That means dollar ka value bad gaya and dollar is getting appreciated whereas your rupee is getting depreciated. All right. Have we understood this? So that means when you export something which is costing $10 for a USA company, you're exporting them, you're getting $10 in return, which means earlier the value of $10 for you was 760 rupees. Now you're getting 840 rupees for the same thing that you were exporting earlier. So you'll export more any day, but reverse. If you were importing something, you were paying 760 for that good. Now you're paying 840 for that good. So importers will get discouraged. Understood? Okay. By how much has the rupee fallen? Okay, the Indian currency breached the 84 mark against the greenback last Friday and fell. Uh, I won't go into the days and dates because uh, I'm recording this video well in advance. And I think when you are watching this video, uh, I think this is past uh, a week almost a week uh, later you get to watch the video when I record it. So yeah, I won't go into the dates and that's it. You just understand that the rupee has depreciated all time low, uh, 84.07 and remained in a narrow band around the same figure. So this 
here the currency has been largely weak against the dollar that means depreciated okay it was at its strongest at 82.68 in uh, now the currency has depreciated sharply by over 9% which means long term trend 30% depreciation uh, okay they are just telling you about the facts that the depreciation has happened but you know the basics now well in advance okay uh, fine will it fall even further yeah let's see that so volatility in indian stock market is likely to impact the local currency in the short term after months of inflows from foreign institutional investors of nearly dollar 25 billion this year the market is considered by some as overvalued in the current month alone FIIs have booked profits and pulled back nearly $8 billion. Okay, so if pulled back, that means the supply of dollar hit ho gaya. Demand ye tha, supply ye tha, demand kam ho gaya. Uh, sorry, demand kam ni hua, supply kam ho gaya. Sorry, so sorry. I'll draw the diagram again. Just, kabhi kabhi hote na, suddenly you zone out. I was telling you something and ekdam se I recalled something. So yeah, I zoned out. I'm so sorry guys. I'm not liking the color now. Okay, fine back to red okay so uh since uh you know fiis have pulled out eight billion dollar so now the supply has reduced left side of the supply ka graph so earlier agar rupee tha 82 uh, one dollar 82 rupee tha of one dollar 84 rupee ho gaya. right depreciation ho gaya because supply come ho gaya. Okay, that is the case. So experts say more sell-offs could see currency fall further to around 84.20, but countries dollar 700 billion forex reserve could come in handy for RBI to intervene. So if it's more, if it's to reduce it, so what's at this point? What's happening at this point? What's supply is more, demand is less, dollar is right? When the exchange rate is so So when your supply is greater than your demand, at a certain point. So what happens? RBI intervenes. And RBI has a lot of foreign currency. So RBI uses according to the situation, foreign currency is out of the situation, and it is sold for it. If there is an extra rupee in the economy, then RBI sells that rupee and puts it in the foreign currency. Now we have this in the dollar 700 billion forex reserve. That is its value. So, abhi RBI bacha sakti hai logo ko, basically. Okay, what are the reasons for the fall of rupee? Ye pad lete hai. Kyunki khali vacation plan karna ya FIIs ka money pull karna hi reason nahi hota. There can be other reasons as well. Let's read what are the reasons this time. The rupee's valuation against the dollar is based on attractiveness of India as an investment destination. Geopolitical instability has a major impact. Geopolitical instability bohat zada hai. Okay, uske alawa, West Asia war, Israel, Iran, Palestinians ka war, Ukraine, Russia war. I mean, I'm saying that as much globally impact your things, geopolitically, this is a lot of role play in uh, rupee ke depreciate on them. How does it impact everybody? A weaker rupee makes import expensive. As I said, importers discourage hota hai, import expensive hota hai, jabke exporters ko benefit hota hai. Since India is a net importer of goods and services, it has current account deficit of $9.7 in the first quarter. A fall in rupee has an adverse impact on the host of products from electronics and machinery to its plastic chemical. Okay, so that is what we are saying that India is dependent, India is major importer. So because of devaluing of the rupee, the value of imports increases. As I said, kuch import kar rho, pehle 760 rupees dene padte te, ab 840 rupees dene pad rho. So import value, import bill badega. Import bill badega, to export minus import. Thik hai? Ab export bill jo hai aapka, exports jo hai, wo utte aapke increase ho rho. Imports aapke, uh, sorry, depreciation honne se, import bill, overall jo bill hai, wo bad jayega. Right? So ye ek point hai. Iske alawa, it is the news for exporters all good so abhi humne bola ki theek hai import bill bad jayega kyunki kuch crude oil wagera uh, karoge to import kam nahi kar sakte because it depends on the elasticity of the kind of product so if you are importing crude oil or if you are importing essential items 
तो बिकॉज ऑफ द प्राइस ऑफ इम्पोर्ट्स हैव इंक्रीज और इम्पोर्ट्स आर एक्सपेंसिव यू वॉन्ट डिक्रीज द क्वान्टिटी बिकॉज इट इज इन इलास्टिक ऑलमोस्ट नियरली इन इलास्टिक सो इसका मतलब होता है इन इलास्टिक का कि प्राइस बढ़ भी जाए कैंसर मेडिसिन है अब कैंसर मेडिसिन सौ रुपए में मिल रही थी अगर उसका प्राइस हजार भी हो जाएगा आप लोग पैंडेमिक में ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स चाहिए थे स्टार्टिंग में सस्ते मिल रहे थे बाद में बहुत महंगे मिल रहे थे रेमडेसिविर इंजेक्शन था या आपका कोई भी दवाई थी जो भी बचा सकती है इंसान को वो बाद में इतनी महंगी हो गई थी बट आपको अगर दवाई अगर आपको जिंदा रहना था तो आप सब खरीद रहे थे तो इन इलास्टिक थी डिमांड कि आप प्राइस कितना ही बढ़ा दो जिसको फायदा उठाना है प्राइस इंक्रीज करके वो कर लेगा बट आपको कुछ चाहिए आपको चाहिए तो इन इलास्टिक है सो इम्पोर्ट्स की वैल्यू बिल बढ़ जाएगा ठीक है इम्पोर्ट्स अगर सौ यूनिट आ रही थी किसी चीज की तो वो आपको सेवेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड में पड़ रही थी अभी भी सौ यूनिट ही लोगे प्राइस बढ़ जाएगा तो क्योंकि आप मजबूर हो आपको वो इम्पोर्ट करना ही पड़ेगा वो नेसेसरी है अब आपको इम्पोर्ट बिल फोर एटी फोर हंड्रेड देना पड़ेगा ओके गॉट इट बट एक्सपोर्टर्स के लिए क्या अच्छी बात है नॉट रियली सिंस ग्लोबल ट्रांजेक्शन आर कैरिड आउट इन डॉलर अ वीकर रुपी मीन्स एक्सपोर्ट्स अट्रैक्टिव एज एक्सपोर्टर्स गेट मोर लोकल करेंसी फॉर द डॉलर दे अर्न जैसे मैंने कहा पहले उन्हें सेवन सिक्सटी मिल रहे थे एक्सपोर्ट करके अब एट फोर्टी मिल रहा है ओके बट अफ रिजाई ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी मीन्स देर इज लेस डिमांड फॉर गुड्स ओवरसीज बट अब क्या हो रहा है अगेन आपके एक्सपोर्ट का तो बढ़ गया पर अगर आप पहले टेन यूनिट्स बेच रहे थे जिसके अगेंस्ट आप सेवन सिक्सटी कर रहे थे आपकी डिमांड इतनी है ही नहीं बाहर गुड्स की आपकी वो डिमांड अगर रह गई सपोजिटली सेवन या आपकी वो डिमांड रह गई फाइव तो आपका एक्सपोर्ट बिल उतना नहीं बढ़ेगा तो इट इज नॉट नेसेसरीली अ वेरी गुड न्यूज बिकॉज देर इज जियो पोलिटिकल इश्यूज ही तो है यार तो हमारे गुड का डिमांड नहीं हो रहा है ना बाहर ठीक है वाइल दिस वॉज सम ओके सो आई थिंक दैट्स इट नंबर याद रखने जरूरी नहीं है बस ये जानना जरूरी है कि एक्सपोर्ट एंड इम्पोर्ट पे कैसे इम्पेक्ट पड़ेगा थियोरेटिकली इम्पोर्टर्स के लिए इम्पोर्ट्स uh, कम होने चाहिए एक्सपोर्ट्स बढ़ने चाहिए बट सींग द कंडीशन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द जियो पोलिटिकल इशू एंड इलास्टिक एक्सपोर्ट्स एंड इलास्टिक डिमांड फॉर एक्सपोर्ट्स एक्सपोर्ट्स उतने नहीं बढ़ते हैं एक्सपोर्ट का वैल्यू उतना नहीं बढ़ता है सो वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट में बार बार बोल रही हूँ गाइज बिकॉज क्वान्टिटी एक्सपोर्ट की जो है और वैल्यू उसमें डिफरेंस होता है ठीक है क्वांटिटी होती है एक्सपोर्ट एंड इंपोर्ट बट क्वांटिटी इनटू प्राइस कर देते हो तो वो वैल्यू बन जाती है सो so, अगर आप 10 यूनिट्स एक्सपोर्ट कर रहे हो और तो वो 10 यूनिट्स एक्सपोर्ट माना जाएगा 10 लेकिन एक्सपोर्ट की जो वैल्यू है अगर आप 840 फोर्टी रुपीज पे एट फोर एटी फोर पे कर रहे हो तो 840 फोर्टी वैल्यू मानी जाएगी एक्सपोर्ट्स की सो so, क्योंकि एक्सपोर्ट्स की डिमांड इलास्टिक है एक्सपोर्ट्स की डिमांड होती है ही नहीं मार्केट में तो एक्सपोर्ट वैल्यू जो है वो कम हो जाएगी एंड इम्पोर्ट वैल्यू बढ़ जाएगी बिकॉज कौन इन इलास्टिक डिमांड है आपको डिमांड करना ही पड़ेगा सो so, हम यही पढ़ रहे हैं कि थियोरेटिकली जो हम बुक्स में पढ़ते हैं जो रियल लाइफ में होता है वो काफी डिफरेंट हो सकता है एंड क्या सिनारी होते हैं क्या रीजन होते हैं दैट इज वॉट वीवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद दिस आर्टिकल and i really hope you found it useful in some or the other way and if yes you have to let me know by liking the video by sharing and ab to main share bolna hi chhod rahi hu kyunki bhai aap subscribe bhi kar lo aur like kar do wo hi bahut hai mere liye so share to bahut badi baat hai ki aap share karo link copy karo whatsapp pe kisi ko share karo i think it's too much for you and too much for me to ask from you so i will only ask you कि लाइक करो वीडियो को सब्सक्राइब कर दो यार मतलब आई एम रियली पुटिंग इन अ लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स इन मेकिंग एवरी वीडियो एंड एडिंग वैल्यू इन योर लाइफ एट द सेम टाइम सो आई रियली होप दैट यू आल्सो लाइक इट एंड डू शेयर योर फीडबैक एंड ऑनेस्ट फीडबैक इज ग्रेट बिकॉज आई वुड वांट अ कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिजम एज वेल दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू अपडेट ऑन एनीथिंग आई एम हैप्पी टू डू सो एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब एज आई सेट अगेन एंड अगेन and i think with that i'll wrap up and thank you so much for showing so much of love to echo boys class is truly means a lot and i am grateful for each and every person who's watching the video who's liking who's not liking who's subscribing not subscribing whatsoever if you've ever come across any of my videos i am truly truly very blessed and grateful and yeah i think uh, i'll see you tomorrow with another one till then take care guys keep smiling stay healthy